So we're going to start things off with Gail Bass, who's in the kitchen with Chef Ivan Flowers from Forno's Restaurant. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good, good morning, Lisa. You know, we've been working our way through the alphabet with Chef Ivan Flowers, and we've gotten all the way up to V. V. So it's V for what? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Ooh. Vegetarian. We're going to be doing a roasted portobello, and we're going to have olives, tomatoes, um, goat cheese, ricotta. We're going to show you how to do it on a grill, mm -hmm. finish it in the oven, super healthy. Super easy. Super healthy, super easy, even though it has ricotta and mascarpone here. Yes, so that's yeah, okay. that's of okay. Okay, those aren't vegetables, but they work well They with work them. well with the vegetables. Okay, right. of course, you know, Ivan doesn't do it halfway, Lisa, so you know it's going to be delicious. Oh, I definitely know that. Thank you, Gail. Thanks, Ivan. A to Z with Chef Ivan Flowers from Forno's Restaurant in Sedona. And, you know, I, Ivan, I like to say that when you come on your life A to Z, bigger and better things can happen to you, which kind of happened to you. Yes, we were You're lucky. You're going to be on a big TV show, uh, bigger you know, than this. Wine, uh, wine Portfolio came in uh, about a month ago. And they were doing a sideways series in Sedona, going to vineyards and yeah. different restaurants. And, uh, yeah, they're going to feature four on uh, nice. CNBC World. Wow. Yeah, so we're, we're impressed. We'll have to look we're for impressed. that sometime yeah. mid-July. Okay. Mid-July. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at what we're cooking. It's a vegetarian dish, right? It's vegetarian. This is in honor of my wife, Tracy, who's been a vegetarian since she's five. And we sit on How do you become a vegetarian when you're five? She did it, so you know she goes. I don't know what hot dog tastes like. I don't know what pastrami wow. tastes like. It's really amazing. Wow. So what we're going to do? Maybe that's what my kids are. Maybe they're vegetarians. <laughs> that's why they don't eat anything. Um, right. Big portobello. Big. Big portobello, meaty. What you want to do is that's known as the gill. Okay, yes. it looks just like fish gills. Notice the spoon is on an angle. Okay. Why do they have a spoon just to do that? Sure. Or is that... Sure. Really? Absolutely. And it's good for plating. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take those gills out. Okay. okay. Take the gills out. What happens if you leave them in? It's just icky. They get messy and dirty. And um, slimy. And slimy. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to dump have those gills. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we've got our grill heating up. You want to go hot because these are meaty mushrooms. Okay. For the marinade, we are going to use. Oh, wait. Did you, are you using the same one where the gills are? Oh, no. You dump the gills. Dump okay. the gills. Okay. Balsamic vinegar. Mm hmm. I use orange juice with a little sriracha in it. That's the Ooh. rooster sauce for a little kick. I'm going to go in with a little red pepper. Oh, so you add in some spice. I'm going to go in with a little, your favorite, Herbe de Provence. Herbe de Provence. I bought some. It comes Very in good. a jar. Don't worry. You can find it, too. Some nice fresh lemon. In your regular grocery store. And lemon. some nice fresh lime. Lemon and lime. And we're gonna, that's our marinade. Grill's hot. What we want to do is you want to go in and really Get the portobello pretty wet. So you're not soaking it overnight no, for an hour. You're just dipping not. it. Okay. And you see some of it goes, you know, right into where it's almost like a cup, and that's important because that's going to work itself into the mushroom. Gotcha. Okay? Gotcha. Hot grill. Wow. And, and it, now, are we going to find portobellos that large? I mean, is that typical? Um, yes, you can. Absolutely, you can. Okay. Uh, you can get these in the supermarket, and size doesn't matter. So you. you At least that's what I've heard. I, I don't know, but. Ba -dum -bum. Ba -bum -bum. Um, uh, port, uh, you can find any size. Yeah, but I was just wondering how much of the juice is in that portobello? A, a lot. little bit. Okay, a lot. Okay, a so lot. let and it it's, sit in there like Yeah, a cup. like a okay. cup because it's going to work itself to okay. the bottom. Now, what you want to do is you want to hit a little salt and a little pepper. Okay. So you want the flat side down first so the Absolutely. juice doesn't all Absolutely, so the juice, out. it acts okay. like a cup. Gotcha. You don't even have to turn this over. Uh -huh. Okay, what you want to do at this point is you want to transfer it. And you're going to go in a 450 degree oven for 20 minutes. Can I ask a question? Yes. Do I have to do the whole grilling process? Can no. I just put it right in the oven? You can go right in the oven. Okay. I'm just adding a little smoky flavor here. Okay. Right in the oven the same way with the okay. marinade. And what you're going to end up with wow. is a really Soft. nice cup, really well cooked portobello. Ah, and, um, let me show really, that to Bob. Really easy. See that, Bob? Look at that. Look at that difference. It's shrunk down a little bit. Well, it it does. Okay. Shrinks about a third. That's why you want big ones. Otherwise, they're going to get a little too small. Okay. Okay. Now we want to stuff it. We want oh. to stuff it after it comes out of the oven and rests a little bit. Then we're going to go back in the oven for about another seven minutes. Gotcha. And we're going to build flavors here. And what we're going to do this is, is interesting. We're going to go in with a little bit of ricotta. Okay. And ricotta is the byproduct of fresh mozzarella. We're going to go in with a little mascarpone. Now, if you don't want to buy all these different cheeses, can you just use one of them? Sure. Okay. You can, you just wondering. Absolutely. 
Because I know I bought ricotta before and I've used a scoop of it and then I end up throwing the rest yeah. away because I can't think of any well, well, recipes. Well, do you know the trick when you have ricotta in the refrigerator? You know how it gets watery? Yeah. Always pour that water off. That's what causes the cheese to turn very quickly. Okay. Okay, okay. we just want to warm so this up. So mascarpone ricotta, okay. We're going to put a little garlic puree. Notice now we're not going very hot. I just want a little garlic puree in a pan that's coming up. And I'm going to put some Sauvignon Blanc in, okay? Because it'll burn if you have it too hot, right, the garlic? Well, I really don't want to cook all these ingredients. I just want to get them where they start to come forward a little bit. So just as that comes to the boil, okay? Oh, wow, that's interesting. I'm going in with grapes. Wow. Fresh peas. Fresh, not frozen? Not frozen. Fresh peas. You can use frozen if you want to. Um, I'm going in with pichelin olives. Any kind of olive that you want. I'm going in with confit tomato. Wow. So we've got all this beautiful freshness. What just is? enough to cook that garlic out, okay? I'm not hot, I'm just warm, okay? Well, some people would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough. Just so so this is okay. warm right in. With that cheese mixture. With the cheese, absolutely. Just yeah. enough. You know what I love about these kind of dishes? I bet if you serve this to a steak lover, they yeah. would never know there wasn't any meat Well, I was in telling it. Gail, if you can get um, lobster mushrooms, they come out this time of year, they're red, and you grill them, no one would ever know. You would think you're eating a porterhouse yeah. steak. It's amazing, especially with the lobster it's so mushroom. Meaty. I'll show that to Bob so you can see. That's kind of what you're looking for, that kind of a consistency. Yeah. There. And this is going to, you know, set up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it back into the mushroom. We're going to go back into the oven, and then when we finish the dish, I'm going to show you how to do a concasse. These are shrewd tomatoes out of Texas. You know those little sunbursts that you eat it, and you just go, oh my God, I so call much them flavor. Not the grape. Grape sunburst. Shrub comes out of Texas, and this is in the supermarket, and they're known for incredible flavor. This is very interesting. What else you want to do? Got me sold on being a vegetarian. Yeah. Before you go in to the oven, toasted sesame, and just do. A little toasted sesame on the outside. Now you got like a like a hamburger bun. And there. on the inside. Very neat. Okay. And, and that's going to crisp up and give you more flavor. All right. Okay. We're going to finish this in a little bit. I'm sure we've got you going. Hmm. <laughs> looking very interesting. So if you want the recipe, of course, you can go to our website, azfamily.com forward slash your life. Ivan's going to come back in a, in a little bit and finish this yes. off. And Welcome back, Chef Ivan Flowers from Forno's Restaurant from Sedona has pulled out the big portobello the big mushroom portobello. that you stuffed with that mixture, yes. which was this mixture, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. And they had a lot of good stuff in it. Oh, right? it's Some great. It's got a cheese. lot of, yeah, so many you know, flavor profiles. And you see, we caramelized it yes. a little bit. We want that, those cheese and, you know, so you get a little caramelization. So um, you just put it in the oven for how long again? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes 10 with 10 the minutes. mixture, mm -hmm. okay. Remember, and the mixture was a little warm. Right. Because if the cheese is ice cold, the mushroom will burn before the cheese cooks. Now, gotcha. okay. what we do, and this is our vegetarian in the restaurant, this is a garlic cognac mushroom jus. Mm. Just that put a little delicious. in the pan. And we're gonna go in those shrub Texas tomatoes. Um, basil? Basil, I'm, I'm growing my own basil and six so kinds of I. tomatoes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's coming it's up really okay. nice. Think, it's doing know, well. You have to talk to it. Take it out of it. the sun, yeah. You have to talk to yes. it. I talk to oh, it talk every to morning. The basil? I, that I, helps? Yeah, you have to, you know, you have to say oh. hello and, you know. Okay, greet it every morning. Greet it every Good morning. morning, Basil. Please keep growing. Keep growing. Okay. So a very light salad. Okay. Turn the heat off. Looks good. So this is a salad then? It's like a little warm dressing. Thing. Okay. Portobello in the middle.